Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, now we want to show you our new humidity and temperature sensor HDC1000 and for that we know to get on the website that will be controleverything.com and here we have to search on for this particular sensor and let's see what we got here. And as you can see on my screen we have uh, HDC1000 I2C humidity and temperature sensor and some more features are described clearly on to the screen and you can also purchase the sensor from this website. Also for this video tutorial I will be interfacing humidity and temperature sensor HTC1000 with a Beagle Moon Black and the software platform will be a C language code and to get your hands on the code let's go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample onto the screen. You can download the C code sample as a zip file from here. Also you can get the code from github.com and the concerned repository there will be control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to put up together and let's proceed further. Well for the hardware connection setup the first thing we require is the bigger bone black which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an I2C sheet for the bigger bone black. Now this is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other I2C devices. So for that what do we require is to gently place this I2C shield over the bigger bone black and make a connection just like that. For the power up setup we require two things. The first is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. It is very useful to power up the bigger bone black. Now to power up the I2C shield we require a 5 volt adapter which you are able to see on my screen and gently insert it in here. Now for an option for the internet connection there are two mediums. The first is an ethernet cable or a LAN cable and the second is this a wireless nano USB adapter. Next we require our humidity and temperature sensor HTC1000 and this comes a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the ground wire of the cable and similarly to the ground of I2C sheet. As we are done with the hardware connections part, now let's proceed and let's see how to interface the code. Now let's have a look over the interfacing code and to get your hands on the code let's log in to github.com and here we have to search on for the repository that will be control everything community. And here we go and this comes the sensor HDC1000 and this comes the C code. But before that let's have a look over the instructions part. We need to set up our BeagleBone Black and the instructions are provided on this very link which is BeagleBone.org and when we go on this website you can see a lot of steps need to be taken for the setup. Please do it carefully. After that we need to download or get pull the code onto the BeagleBone Black and this command will compile and this will run the C code. Now it back to the C code for further clarification and it's a .c extension file and the first thing you notice into the code that we have included some of the header files here and in the void main function we have to check whether the I2C bus is going to open or not and the address of the device is UX4C. Now coming to the writing part we are going to select a configuration register that will be 0x02 and we are going to send a command to set temperature humidity enabled resolution equal to 14 bits heater on that will be 0x30. Then we are going to send a temperature measurement command that will be 0x00 and after that we have a sleep of 1 second and then we are going to read 2 bytes of the data for the temperature as you can see and here comes the conver conversion of the data for the temperature and we are using the formula which was described in the data sheet for HDC1010. Now after that uh, we are going to print the data onto the screen which you can see as the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. After coming to the second part we are going to send humidity measurement command that will be 0x01 and we are going to read 2 bytes of the humidity data and after that the conversion of the data for the humidity is according to the formula which was in the data sheet for HTC1000. At the very end of our code we have the output data onto the screen which is the relative humidity in percentage RH at present. So this is how the code looks like. Now let's see how it works. Now let's have a look over the working part and for that thing to go on we need to copy the entire code as you can see on my screen. We need to copy it and then we have to open up the terminal for the BeagleBone Black and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen. 
.c will be the extension of the file and here we have to paste the entire code and then we have to save it. Now for the compilation this is the command for uh, to the code to go on and let me type the full command for the reference uh, and here we are this is the command for the compilation and the code has been compiled successfully. Now for the working part uh, to run the code this is the command and when I run it we have the temperature in Celsius in Fahrenheit and both the scales and we have the relative immunity in percentage of H. When I again run the command you can see very less change along with the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor HDC1000 but when I press my finger over the sensor and run the command you can see a significant change in temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit along with the relative humidity and when I again run it temperature and the relative humidity changes again. So this is how the sensor works. Now let's see uh, what are the applications and features regarding this sensor. The HTC1000 is a digital humidity sensor and integrated temperature sensor that provides excellent measurement accuracy at very low power. The device measures humidity based on a novel capacitive sensor. The humidity and temperature sensors are factory calibrated. The sensing element of HTC1000 is placed on the bottom part of the device which makes the HTC1000 more robust against dirt dust and other environmental contaminants. The applications are like HVAC, smart thermostats and room monitors, white coats, printers, medical devices, cargo shipping, variable devices, mobile devices and a lot more. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com. And to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.